so what I wanted to do today was look at a OS uh, distribution called Anduin OS. I believe it is based off of Boom 2. It, from what I've heard, it's based off. Well, it's designed by a guy that worked at Microsoft. At least that's the rumors I've heard. I don't know if any of that's true or not. Uh, I wanted to spin this up and boot this up and um, install it and take a gander at it. I've seen some people chatting about it and kind of curious myself about it. I've never used it before. So um, we're looking at it being based off Ubuntu, which looks like Ubuntu LTS. You can get an older LTS version, the current LTS version, or you can go with a newer version. I went ahead and downloaded the actual newest version here, which is based off Plucky Puffin. It has newer kernels and things like that in it. It uses GNOME 48. So I'm going to spin this up and take a look at it and see kind of what this little system looks like and see if it's even any different than any other Ubuntu based uh, distribution. Okay so this is what it looks like when you boot it up and it looks really cool it does have that Windows 11 look and feel to it um, very much like a Windows 11 look and feel um, just from looking at the live CD you can tell this is this is GNOME because uh, this is the GNOME file manager there looks like they're probably using some extensions to get this look and feel of Windows 11 uh, the icons look cool and all that, but I want to run through the installer real quick. I haven't checked this out yet. Okay, so this looks like the possibly the older Ubuntu installer, not the newest one they use. Um, yeah, this is the older version of the Ubuntu installer. I'm just going to go ahead and erase the whole disk. Get that up and running. It's just warning you that's going to kill everything. Did get my time zone correct. Let's see, it is going to let me do a short password, looks like. Alright, go ahead and let this thing install and just kind of see what this is going to look like. Uh, it looks like it's installing incredibly fast. It says it is a Debian based operating system that uses Ubuntu software repository. So I'm assuming it's actually based on Debian, but they add some Ubuntu repository. So that's actually very interesting. So I guess it's not technically based fully on Ubuntu, it's actually based on Debian. Huh. I'll actually take a look at the apt source list possibly when I get this booted up and kind of see what that looks like. So I'm curious how they have that set up. Uh, so that's interesting. It said something on the website about most of the apps are containerized. I'm assuming they use things like Flatpak, stuff like that. I don't think this is a immutable system like Silverblue or Bazite or anything like that. It's like a standard, regular install. Yeah, Anduin has removed Snap to reduce disk usage. However, you can always reinstall Snap. Flatpak and App Image whenever you need them. Okay, so they're not going to use snaps out of the box they're using flat packs and app images uh, so they're it's going to be similar to like what mint uses where mint takes the ubuntu base removes snap and then adds just support for flat packs so that's interesting it's kind of like ubuntu without flat packs uh, except i guess this is based on debian and not ubuntu so that's interesting i will we'll definitely take a look at some of that and see what that looks like and I'm going to go ahead and let this finish up installing, and I'll be right back. Look, like it's actually almost done, so we're just going to let this finish up installing. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when you boot into it, um, and this is just GDM, which is the GNOME Display Manager. Uh, my resolution is going to be off because I'm in a virtual machine, so I'm going to go ahead and set my resolution. You probably won't have to do this on your system if you install it, because uh, this is just a VM thing where it won't detect my resolution. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Sorry about my son in the background. He's uh, he's going to be a little loud. Let's see. Do, 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 do. That looks good. Yeah, this is just standard like GNOME settings manager. So it's got all the GNOME settings stuff. Uh, this is technically just GNOME. That's all this really is. The menu's cool. I mean, that's cool that they have this set up. I don't know if... Let's see if they got like tweaks. No. Alright, so you go through here, they have just some standard stuff installed. Uh, the console is... Console, that's just the GNOME console. The regular stuff. So it's probably going to have mostly the GNOME software. 
videos, that's... Okay, that's got like the video channels, stuff like that. Uh, it's got a password protector. It uses events for document viewing. This is actually really cool looking. I mean, this does remind me a lot of Windows 11. Um, I really do like the way it looks. It has the camera software installed. All right, here's a software manager. This is just GNOME software manager, and it's telling me that I have updates. And that was one thing I wanted to take. Oh, that's kind of cool, too. I like the, the way they have this set up. This is actually really neat looking. I really like the way this is set up. So one thing I wanted to do was... Let's go into my console here. I was kind of curious... Um, what the sources looked like. Uh, so we have the Ubuntu. It's using Plucky. Now it said something about using Debian. But this all looks like Ubuntu repositories. So I'm not sure what it meant by being based off Debian. Uh, okay, there's some extra resources there. What is... Oh, that's the Mozilla. Okay. That's... Yeah, not worried about that. Okay. That, oh, that's just the Ubuntu PPA. So... Huh. Yeah, it looks like the sources, as far as I can tell, um, are actually just Ubuntu. Let's see, they don't have them. Yeah, I can't tell where this, I don't know why it said, unless they just mean by being based on Ubuntu that it comes from Debian. You know, because Ubuntu is technically based on Debian. But I'm not seeing where it's pulling anything from any Debian repositories. This all looks just straight based on Ubuntu. So I, I don't really get that. Um, as far as I can tell, this is just an Ubuntu system. With apt removed. And then obviously they have their own theming and their own systems. I don't know if they have their own. I didn't really double check to see if they have their own repositories they have flat hub enabled automatically there's plucky yeah this is all ubuntu i don't even see where they have any of like say their own special repositories none that i can actually tell literally as far as i can tell this is just a ubuntu distribution a customized ubuntu distribution i don't really see i mean it's cool i like the theming out of the box uh, and all that I don't really know if I see much of a difference between this and say Linux Mint other than this uses GNOME. You could you could definitely set regular old Ubuntu up like this if you really wanted to. If I ever get a camera set up, you'll be able to see what he looks like going through my house like that. I do apologize. I'm an autism dad. These are my autistic kids, so you know, my house is always going to be noisy. I usually try to do these videos at night when the kids are asleep, but I was bored today, so I'm doing it during the day. Um, anyway, that's just a quick look at the Anduin OS. Again, I love the look and feel. I like the design, but I don't really know if I would... I mean, would I recommend it? Sure. I mean, as far as, like, if you want something out of the box that looks like Windows 11, you want something that's super easy to install, uh, has the software you will need for basic stuff, this is not a bad system for somebody who's used to Windows and Windows 11. Uh, again, similar to something like Zorin OS and all that. Those are all in the same vein. This looks like a nice system put together, nicely themed. Uh, I personally probably won't use it. Uh, but, you know, there's really no difference between this and just using Ubuntu and just theming it the way you want to. And you can remove Snap if you want to. But if you want all that out of the box and you want it to just throw it on somebody's computer who's used to Windows 11 and all they want to do is just hop on a web browser and go to town you know fine this is a cool distro it's neat that from what i've heard it's built by somebody from microsoft i don't know if that's true or not but uh if that is that's cool that's neat that they produced something that is similar to windows 11 for people who are wanting to transition to linux uh, that's all I really got for you today short little video on anduin os cool os check it out and have some fun with it god bless y'all thanks for watching the video and i uh, hope you have a blessed rest of your day